Hey YouTube, Slip Bone Queen here. Just wanted to come here today and I wanted to do my palette of the week. Um, this is week 41. Yeah, 41. And I recently had already done a video on how I did my DIY Z palette um, with some of my single shadows that I had just laying around. I was like, you know, I want to depot them and put them in a Z palette. So I watched a YouTube video, which I've already did a video on this um, telling you about it. But I watched a video on how to make your own Z palette and the video that I watched was great and so it gave me really good ideas on how to do this. So I ended up making my own Z palette. And this is the palette uh, that I'm going to use this week for week 41. And th this has um, some really good products in it. This is a, um, this is my palette. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, I had depotted a blush in here too. So this is the blush that I'm going to use this week. It's an e.l.f. blush. It's this one right here. I plan on using that one as my blush for the week since it's in my palette. And then um, I had some really pretty shadows in here. I have some that are coastal scents. And um, I have one that's the balm in here, I think. And then I have an Elizabeth Mott shadow right here. I have some Maybelline shadows, which is the white shade and the... Uh, this one, this black shade over here. Um, I also have a Coors um, shadow that I bought at an outlet one time. This one right here, I really do love it. And then I had a quad that um, my friend had gave me. I depotted it and one cracked a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I did a quad right here. And then I have a Wet n Wild shadow right here. So, I plan on using this as my palette of the week just because I wanted to get more use out of these since I have them in a different palette now and they're all together. So, I will swatch a few of these so I can give you an idea of what the colors are going to look like. Um, so, this is the blush. And the e.l.f. blush is just gorgeous. I love the way it looks. It's really pretty on the, uh, on the skin. And here's my Kors um, eyeshadow. I love that purple shade so much. And it just glides right on. It's real smooth. We, me and my husband had went to an outlet, like a makeup outlet or something. And I happened to see those. They were in a little single by itself. And uh, it was just a really awesome shadow. I wish I had bought more. And then there's the uh, quad shades. I'll try to swatch them down here so you can see them. And those um, shades right here, these four, are the quad. They're really nice. Let me wipe these swatches off so I'll have room for the next ones. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of having my uh, single shadows depotted and put into this palette because I just think it's really nice. And I feel like now that they're all together, I'll use them more. That was kind of my goal. So hopefully I will. I'll use them. And these are without primer, but I will be using primer, so I always do. Okay, so this is a Wet n Wild shadow, and then these are two Maybelline ones I pulled out of a, a quad. I just thought they were pretty, and I thought it'd be good to have in the Z palette, because you're definitely going to need like your black shade, and you definitely need a good white, so I was excited to have that. And this is my Elizabeth Mott uh, shadow I got in an Ipsy bag. This is absolutely stunning. Look how beautiful that is. I love the way that looks. And it's so smooth. It just glides right on. And then I'm going to do... This is one of the Balm shadows. I really like this shadow. It's really pretty. It's perfect for fall. And then these are my Coastal Scents shadows. Those are my two Coastal Scent Shadows. I love these two. And then the last one in this uh, Z palette that I have is an Elf Shadow. I got in a swap. It's a really pretty like lilac. But it's like a shimmer. It almost has like a silver undertone to it. It's really gorgeous. But that is my Z palette. I have another one that I made, but I plan on using that for another week. But I figured I had everything I needed in this for this week. 
I've got my purples in there, which I absolutely love. I've got my blush in there. I've got um, my quad with my neutrals in it. I've got like a shimmery like champagne shade. Um, and I've got um, some darker shades that are actually for fall. Um, so I'm excited for this. This is a really nice uh, way to use up some of your single shadows that just lay around and um, I just really thought it was a good idea so I really do enjoy having them all together and that is going to be my palette of the week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you join me in this. This is week 41 doing this on my channel and I've just had a blast doing this. It's really been fun and now I know that I can use all my palettes in my collection and with no problem and I do know that um, they're getting rotated so none of them are not getting used you know so it works well and hopefully maybe if you feel that way about something in your collection maybe you can do like a even if it's a lip balm like a lip balm of a week I'm actually thinking about starting to do that um, but right now I'm doing a project pan kind of a thing with one of my um, friends on Instagram she um, posts pictures of different makeup that she's used up or panned and she did a challenge thing the other day about um, some of the Revo lip balms she uses. And she's trying to use some up before Christmas. I think it was like use five, five products before Christmas. And so I may have went a little overboard on that. But I do want to mention it while I'm on the video here since I've already told you about it. The ones that I've chosen to do like my project pan on is um, the original Revo in Candy Cane. And as you can tell, I've used that quite a bit. Um, but, you know, I want to use it up completely because they do expire this year. So I want to go ahead and get these done and use them up before the year's over. And then I have Peppermint um, Beeswax Revo from Walgreens. And this one, you know, still got a lot of product on it, but I've used it a lot. So I do plan on trying to get as much use as I can out of it. And then I have a Berry Frost. This was one of the originals in the, um, the Revo line. And it's got a lot of product. This was, this was one that was like never my true favorite, but, um, uh, I definitely want to at least try to use it up before I have to throw it out. And then I really love this one. I'm glad this one's in it. This is the Sugar Cookie, the original one from, um, Revo. And I have been using the heck out of this since I've decided to do this challenge. I just uh, agreed to do this, I think, Saturday. So I wanted to go ahead and use some product up. And then the last one that is in my challenge is one that was, um, I think it was two summers ago. Was it two summers ago or one? Um, this was the Cherry Cola Revo. This was just one of my favorites, so that's why it's been almost completely used up because I just love it so much. So I went ahead and added in here since it's almost gone anyways. And uh, as you can tell, I have used the heck out of it. There's like hardly anything there. I'll probably finish it up soon because it's already almost at the bottom. But yeah, I've used that Revo almost completely up. But um, I decided to do this with um, my friend on Instagram. Um, because she wanted to do this challenge and I thought, you know, this would be fun, a good way to use up the ones that are getting ready to expire. I need to go ahead and use them up anyways before I have to throw them out because I don't plan on keeping them after they're, um, expired. So, um, I do, uh, I really do like the idea of that challenge and, um, that's a lot of lip product to use before Christmas, but I'm going to try it and give it a shot. I mean, you know, if I don't finish them, I don't finish them, but at least I can try, right? So I just want to get on here and want to share that with you and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Thanks.